do I buy the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K that's coming out? Or do I keep my GH4, buy an external professional video recorder like an Atomos Ninja? What do you think? Here's my thing. I, I don't shoot still photography. None. Zero. Again, I've maybe hit the shutter on this thing twice, maybe three, most by accident, just because I thought I had it in video mode and it wasn't, and they ended up taking a couple of still shots. It, that's it. I don't do stills. I don't think that way. I think, I think photographers experience the forward progression of space time in a very different way. I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I just think that it's, just, I just don't think in terms of still photography, my brain doesn't process the world around me in that way. For me, it's all motion picture. And I've said before that you get the GH4, half the camera, well, most of the camera is designed for stills and they just added a bunch of video features in. Nothing new to most of you, but the question is, we already have bought the GH4. We have this really nice preamp. We've got a nice sort of cage build up around it. Got a good microphone. The one thing we don't have is a decent way to record information coming off the sensor. The sensor is gathering an incredible amount of data. Very little of, of that data is actually being recorded to the card. What a professional video recorder will do is lift more, or, or, will record more information off that sensor. What the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera does is almost like they started with a professional video recorder, duck a micro four thirds sensor in front of it and there you have this really awesome camera. So this thing can shoot raw, or at least cinema DNG raw, which is very lightly compressed raw. You know, was it four to three or, or three to one? Uh, I'm sorry, three to one or four to one compression. The raw footage just is gross looking, but it's like having a blank canvas and you can color it any way you want. It's, it's 12 bit raw. This camera, right now is only shooting at 8-bit highly compressed video. The intermediate between the two is like a 10-bit 422 ProRes or DNG, DN, XHD or R or whatever. Or um, I want my fishing videos to be fishing. I want them to be documentaries. I want them to be documentary films about a guy who is living this fishing lifestyle where we follow me as I build this fishing tackle in a business and explore the waters around my own home waters while I'm fighting like diabetes and depression and these sorts of things. So it's a story, an ongoing story, and I'm wanting an ever higher level of technical excellence and storytelling excellence. While I don't think I'm tapped out on the GH4, I certainly don't like the way the GH4 renders my skin tones. And I certainly don't like the limited dynamic range because I have such a dark complexion and I'm have when a broad daylight and I don't need stills. So the obvious answer is a cinema camera, but I don't have 10 grand for a Canon C100 or eight grand for an EVA1 or any of those things. But Blackmagic has this pocket cinema camera that is, a, for all intents and purposes, cost about the same as a GH4, yet has way more capability because that's where the technology is going. So let's look at the footage here. This is straight from the Blackmagic pocket cinema camera, the balloon, one of the shots from the balloon. This is shot in 4K. And is, I thought it was most relevant to us as fishermen because this sort of simulates a boat and uh, this is not graded. It's shot in Apple ProRes and gives you a really good sense of uh, what the blank footage, the raw footage, quote unquote. It's not raw, it's ProRes. But, uh, and here's my vision of it after grading it. Messing with the gamma curves a little bit and, and raising up the lows some and putting a 3D LUT that I found on it to give it an old school look. It's a real challenge making new lenses look old. That's why I use old lenses. And so that's um, what you can do there. It looks pretty, pretty decent. I, I, I like it. A lot of data in the uh, video. The next shot is a uh, the forest shot in the forest video. Again, this is the 
422 HQ ProRes. It's essentially quote unquote raw footage. It's not raw, it's 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 ProRes. But straight out of the camera, that looks pretty good. And you got a lot of contrast, and they can see all the detail there in the tree bark there. Incredible. Despite the sun being right there. And I'll put another 3D LUT on it, make it look like a like one of those four shots from Lord of the Rings or something, Lord of the Rings or something, you know, like real, like looks like a real fairy tale with the footage there. Now, you know, so just how far can you push it and retain the detail and not have the image break down? Incredible amount of data, 10 bit color space, uh, 422 color depth, it looks incredibly good. So, what would you do? Would you keep the GH4 and just add an Atomos? Or would you just say, okay, sell off the GH4, do whatever you gotta do, get the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera and just run it up the flagpole? What do you think? I've been asking some guys about that and pretty much, especially on the Lightworks forums where I, uh, that's the software I use to edit all my videos and stuff. And they're like, eh, just get the Blackmagic. <laughs> and I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. But that would also mean I have to sell my GH4, which is okay. What is a better storytelling tool? A GH4 rigged out gangster style <laughs> or a black magic pocket cinema camera that has all that stuff built in and I can just concentrate on telling better stories. Hopefully, Tropical Storm Gordon We'll pass by and I can get out on the river sometime this week, but I'm not holding my breath. See ya.